My name is Paul Hawkins. I live in Lee County, South Carolina. I farm in Lee and Sumter Counties in South Carolina, and I farm about 2,400 acres, and I used AgLogic on 700 acres of cotton this year, and I think it really helped improve my yields. I think calibration is very important and making sure your hopper boxes are in good shape because we went over everything before we started, but after I'd planted about 400 acres, I was planting late one night and I had a, uh, one of my meter and rolls quit turning on me and I kept on planting until about two o'clock that morning and wasn't getting out and checking my hoppers as like I should have and uh, it showed up later on in the season. I, the next morning I caught it when I checked the planter, checked it and I'd planted probably about 15 acres with one row not putting out and uh, we watched it all year. We could see that weak row, it was weak, weak all year. So I think it's very important to make sure your calibration and the hoppers are in good shape, your meter and rolls and all are in good shape. Farmers like Paul know how important proper calibration is to maximizing yields. How can you make sure your equipment is properly calibrated for your crops? On the label, you'll find the exact amount of AgLogic Aldicarb to use per acre to effectively protect your crops from pests. You'll want to follow these directions for each crop to a T, not applying too much or too little. All of the settings for row crops are based upon one applicator outlet per row. That's why you need to calibrate each of the rows to get your desired rate per acre. I feel like some of the best time you can spend is calibrating your equipment before you go to the field. You can think it's ready to go, but as sure as you don't blow all the hoses out, all the chains, get the boxes in proper shape, make sure they're not leaking. If you don't check them, you're gonna go out there and something is gonna go wrong. And then you're gonna be upset about that. If you don't calibrate them, if you go by, well, it was sitting on notch 32 last year, so notch 32 ought to be okay this year. Sometimes that works, sometimes it don't. Let's break down the nine simple steps you'll want to take to apply AgLogic Aldicarb safely and effectively. Step one, prepare to use AgLogic Aldicarb. Anytime you're dealing with AgLogic Aldicarb, you should wear the proper safety clothing. This includes a long sleeve shirt, long pants, socks, gloves, boots, and protective eyewear. Step two, use the AgLogic calibration tubes and charts. With the proper attire on, you can begin the process of filling the hopper boxes. First, you'll need to determine your application planting speed, whether that's four, five, or six miles per hour. You decide based on your field conditions. That same speed is what you will use for the AgLogic 15GG calibration speed and what you will reference on the calibration tube charts. The calibration tube charts help you determine exactly how much you need and what settings to use for different row spaces, tractor planting application speeds, 300 feet calibration distances, and AgLogic 15GG application rates. For example, using the John Deere Max Emerge 2, if your desired application rate is 3.5 pounds of AgLogic 15GG gypsum formulation per acre, your row spacing is 38 inches, and your anticipated planting speed is 5 miles per hour, and your calibration distance is 300 feet, the initial meter setting based on table 2B should be F+. If your desired application rate is 5 pounds of AgLogic 15GG per acre, your row spacing is 38 inches, your application speed is 5 miles per hour, and your calibration distance is 300 feet. The initial meter setting based on table 2B should be I. This process also applies to all crops and use rates, including from 2 pounds per acre to 33 pounds per acre. Remember, these settings are intended to start the calibration process. AgLogic provides calibration tubes specific for AgLogic 15GG, and those should always be used to apply AgLogic 15GG Aldicarb. The calibration tube charts for AgLogic 15GG Aldicarb are provided online at the AgLogic calibration website. Step 3. Set the applicator. Using the calibration tube chart tables, select the initial applicator settings based upon the AgLogic 15GG rates to be applied row spacings, application speed, and calibration distance. Attach the calibration tubes to outlets and travel the specific 300 feet calibration distance at normal operating speed and field conditions based on the chart. Step four, remove the AgLogic calibration tube. Remove the tube and tap it to settle the granules. 
At this point, you'll read the level of AgLogic 15GG inside the calibration tube to determine if the settings are correct. The calibration tube chart comes in handy again to check that the rate is properly set. Step 5. Maintain your selected planting speed. Resume the tractor at the selected planting speed and maintain a uniform planting speed for 300 feet, then stop the tractor. Step 6. Adjust the applicator setting. With the tractor stopped, check again that you're putting out the correct rate, and if not, you'll need to adjust the applicator setting to get your desired rate per acre. Step 7. Respond to changes. As you're planting, if your ground speed changes, you should recalibrate again. This is also when you should verify calibrated rates against known acreage, product formulation, and target pests to adjust accordingly. Step 8. Store the unused product. Once all planting of fields and crops is complete, unused product should be poured ideally into an AgLogic bag, and if one is not available, a sealed container can also work. Unused stored product must be properly labeled and should be kept in a locked, safe storage area. Step 9. Dispose of or store tubes. Secure the empty calibration tubes in a safe, locked place or properly dispose of them. Following all these steps is the best way to make an accurate application and maximize the benefits of AgLogic Aldocarb on your crops. Always remember, wear proper attire to use AgLogic Aldocarb. Select the tractor planting speed for your application. Use the AgLogic supplied calibration tubes and online AgLogic 15GG calibration tube charts to determine necessary applicator equipment settings. Set the applicator and attach the calibration tubes to the outlets and travel 300 feet. Remove the calibration tubes and make sure the application rate is properly set. Maintain your selected planting speed to double check output rate. Adjust the applicator setting if needed. Respond to changes in planting speed, if any, by recalibrating. Store the unused product safely. Dispose of or store calibration tubes safely. The reason I recommend AgLogic to the growers that I work for is because it's worked for many, many years. It's proven itself for many, many years. It's had a lot of competitors come along and claim to be just as good or better and we're still waiting on that one to show up. I used uh, AgLogic on 700 acres of cotton this year, and next year I plan on using it on all my cotton acreage and possibly all my peanut acreage also. I think AgLogic was a big help to my bottom line for this year.